Um, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Chao Ni from the City University of Hong Kong. Today, I'm excited to share our work on covering user interactions on smartphones via contactless wireless charging side channels. This work collaborates with authors from George Mason University, the Ohio State University, the Hong Kong Polytechnic University, the Chinese University of Hong Kong, and DBAP Security. Nowadays, smartphone wireless chargers has become much more popular in our daily life for better charging. According to a recent study, the global wireless charging market will exceed $180 billion by the end of 2030. Wireless charging stations are widely deployed in public facilities such as airports, cafes, hotels, and public transportation. Typically, wireless chargers use electromagnetic induction to transfer power from the charger's primary coil to a secondary coil in the smartphones. During the charging process, the smartphone continuously communicates with the wireless charger through the Qi protocol, and the control unit in the wireless charger will adjust, will take the feedback and adjust the charging voltages. However, we find during the charging process, users' interaction on the smartphone will lead to a change in the electromagnetic field, which further induce two physical phenomena, the coil wind and the magnetic field perturbations. We find that these two phenomena can be explored Employed to launch contactless station attack on the wire charger to uncover user privacy from a charging smartphone. For example, think about when you put your smartphone on a wire charger to start battery charging. When the wire charging starts, the coil wind appears, as we can see from the spectrogram. Then you perform a series of activities on the smartphone that, that is being wireless charged, such as entering the such as pressing the buttons 0149 to enter passcode to unlock the smartphone or launching the app, app Google Map to searching for the nearest Costco wholesale. This series of activities lead to a change in both the coil wind and magnetic field perturbations, as we can see from the above and lower figures. Specifically, the coil wind is caused by the vibration and deformation of the coil in the electromagnetic field, resulting from the Maxwell strength tensor, magnetic friction, and the Lorentz force. And the magnetic field perturbation is caused by the lower change of the charging smartphones, and, uh, and the film coupling effect due to the characteristic of touch screen, which uh, emits EM signals that may perturb the ambient magnetic field. Therefore, based on these observations, we propose Wisers, a novel attack framework to attack uh, wireless chargers um, to uncover user privacy from Chinese smartphones. It consists of three stages. First, uh, an attacker can use a smartphone with its built-in microphone and magnetometer to capture coil wind and measure the magnetic field perturbations. Per and in the second stage, the, in, in the first stage, uh, we need to prepare the attack, including the battery level inference and the magnetic field calibration. Then in the second stage, uh, wireless build user interaction contacts by first inferring the uh, inter-interface switch across different screens and uncovering intra-interface activities, including keyboard open detection, key stroke inference, and app launching recognition. Finally, in the third stage, wireless reveal privacy-sensitive information, including screen unlocking passcode, app usage profiling, and sensitive key user input. Compared with other wireless charging side channel attacks, our work, wireless leverage novel wireless charging side ch channels to launch contactless, uh, context-aware, and end-to-end -end attack to uncover fine-grained user privacy. Uh, let's then move to detail, de detailed design. First, for data collection, attacker can use commodity smartphones as an attacking device, which can be much stealthy to be put ne next to the victim without suspicious, uh, and use the running apps to, uh, of the micro microphone apps to capture all the clips that contain coil wires, and uh, use the magnetometer to measure the magnetic field perturbations. Then it starts with the battery level inference. Here is one question. Why do we need to know the battery level of the charging smartphone. That is because, according to a recent study, different battery levels may impact the patterns induced by, different, uh, induced by user interactions. Uh, as we can see from the right figure, it, it shows uh, when we use a gig phone wire charger to charge an iPhone 30 Pro, and we can see that the coil wind presents different patterns at different battery levels. In practice, an attacker may put the charging smartphone, may put the attacking smartphone uh, at a different orientation toward the charging smartphone. Therefore, we need, the attacker needs to recalibrate the magnetic field to its original, original coordinates by leveraging the circular arc interpolation, assuming the devices are put on the same table surface. After preparing the attack, 
wireless then builds the in, in, uh, user interaction context by first inferring inter-interface switches across four common uh, smartphone interfaces, including the off-screen interface, uh, at lock screen, home screen, and app interfaces. Specifically, we extract 40, 86 acoustic features from the coil wiring, including MFCCS, GDCCS, AOPCCS, and spectral power patterns to train a random forest classifier to inferring the interface switch across different interfaces. After knowing which specific interface the user is performing perform, perform activities on, uh, why does then use the magnetic field perturbations to uh, uncover intra-interface activities, including keyboard opening of the three default keyboard in smartphones, uh, including unlocking keyboard, numeric only keyboard, and the full size QWERTY keyboard, and also the keystroke of only these three keyboard to uncover passcode and sensitive user input, and also the app launching recognition, including both closed word and open word app recognition. Uh, sorry, to, to achieve this. Uh, intra interface activity recognition, we use the, uh, we take the magnetic field perturbations and use fish CNN feature extractor to generate valid input sequence. And these sequences are used to train an attention balloting model. After we, we ob obtain this model, we remove layers after the embedding layers to make it an embedding model and use cosine similarity for classification. Finally, uh, wireless can use the built uh, user inter interaction context to reveal privacy sensitive information, uh, such as the screen unlocking passcode uh, involving the interface switch from off screen to lock screen and then to home screen, and also the app function recognition as well as the kiss jokes uh, involving interface switch across uh, lock sc or home screen to app interfaces. Uh, our evaluation results show that wireless are achieve over 94% accuracy in barrel level inference with, with commodity wireless chargers that present three, four, and five battery levels when charging, charging an iPhone 30 Pro. And also, it achieves over 95% accuracy in keyboard open detection with one key, keystroke input. And also, for the app launching recognition, it achieves 91% accuracy and 87% accuracy in closed world and open world app, app recognition, respectively. And also, for the keystroke inference results, uh, it achieves over 90% within, within five attempts of the three keyboard. In addition, we have also conducted 40 trials of end-to-end -end attacks uh, involving the series, a series of dimensional activities. For example, in the first attack trail, it first detects the battery, the charging battery level is at mid level, and then it detects the interface switch across uh, the off screen to lock screen to home screen and the passcode input as the 0149. And then when it detects it is in, into the home screen, it detects the keyboard opening with a full size keyboard and the input is WHADS, which means the user is searching for WhatsApp. Then it detects the launching of WhatsApp, as well as the keyboard opening with a full-size keyboard, and the input is Hello World. Among the 40 trials of end-to-end -end attacks, wireless achieve about 55% accuracy in one attempt and 100% accuracy uh, success rate in fi within five attempts. We have also evaluated wireless performance in different wireless chargers, different smartphones, uh, different battery levels and different users. The result presents uh, that our attack framework is more generic. Uh, despite this, we still find limitations in our current version. The first is that the uh, transferability is across different heterogeneous smartphones, especially when we try to apply models trained from iPhones to uh, Android smartphones because they have different layout of keyboard. And also, the second is caused by the noises came from the background apps, especially those with high run speed ratios, uh, which brings extra noises into the capture signal. And also, some auto filling mechanism in the keyboard may uh, reduce the frequency of user smartphone interactions, so that part of the keystrokes cannot be recovered. To defend att against attacks from wires, we can use passive countermeasures such as using advanced materials to reduce the coin one effects, or shielding the magnetic field to prevent leakage, or we can use proactive countermeasures such as adding random noises or dynamic switching the amplitude and frequency of the charging voltages. So in conclusion, uh, in this paper, we present wireless, a, tech, a, a novel attack framework that leverages the novel uh, contactless wireless charging side channels to launch context-aware attacks. And uh, it can rec uh, uncover user smart interactions, such as passcode app usage and sensitive case jokes with high end-to-end -end success rate. And uh, thank you for listening. And I'm happy to answer any questions.
thanks for the great talk. Uh, so. Uh, my first question is that did you, uh, so it seems the underlying uh, working principle is that the change, the electromagnetic changes of a coil would be turned into acoustic signals. So I'm wondering, have you investigated the underlying causality or the model of this process in your paper? Uh, and a second quick question is that it seems you require the microphone access uh, of this thing to work, but you also require the magnetic sensor. And we know that magnetic sensors are zero permission. So I'm wondering if you just use the magnetic sensor, uh, what kind of accuracy you could achieve? Have you ever tried that? Uh, uh, I, I'm not sure about the first question. So I sh first answer the second question. Uh, we use a smartphone as a tracking device that could uh, use both the mag microphone and the magnetometer. But, uh, the coil wiring is much, much like using as a trigger because you didn't know the, the magnetic field is caused by the changes or other noises. But when the coil wiring appears, it means the wire charging starts. So this could pinpoint the uh, beginning of, that of this attack. So that we use the coil wiring. And, and also coil wiring can be used for inferring interface switches. And can you repeat the first question? Uh, so you mean like the uh, using microphones to detect the coil wine is just for detecting the start of this process? Uh, also for the interface switch to build the context to know that which interface your user is performing the activities on. Since we all know we can enter the kiss jokes in both the home screen using the search bar okay. or in the apps, right? Got it. Okay. And due to the limited time, we'll discuss the first question. Okay. No worries. Hi, uh, good talk. I had a question about the app that you installed on the phone. Uh, um, like, okay. I, I think the microphone access is, is restricted, right? Are you expecting that uh, the user is approving the access at some point? Or, and also because iPhone, for example, shows that your, the microphone is active at a certain point. Uh, okay, actually, uh, we want to clear, clarify that the attacking device and the Chinese smartphone are two devices. So uh, the, for the attacking smartphones, uh, we can use some apps that w we can adjust the frequency to sample the uh, audio clips that contain coil wine. As we can see from the spectrogram, the coil wine is about uh, 13 kilo kilohertz. So it, it is enough to use us. Uh, oh, sorry. sorry. It is enough to use uh, smartphones, um, um, microphone apps to capture the audio clips that contain this coil wine. Of course, for different wire chargers, because they have different characteristics of the coil, the coil wine may be different. Some may be inaudible when we're testing the, like, the app MagSafe. Got it. So I, I think you're saying the attacker might be sitting next to you. Yeah, and put a, his smartphone next to your smartphone that is, that is being wireless charged. Got it. Thank you. Any questions? Okay, uh, let's thank the speaker again.